What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out this crazy Ducati. We are at Scale Studio. We just finished doing some work to the Model A. You guys are familiar with this car. There's a bunch of footage on the channel. Well, I'm actually, right after we do this Ducati video, we're gonna do more footage of what we did. We did a bunch of tweaks to this thing. New hood, new side panels. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the exhaust. Turbo scoop. You can see the turbo in through there. But the main thing is doing a review on this crazy Ducati right there. Standing shots. Now I introduce you the owner of the shop the guy that made all this happen, his name is Trevor. This is the man! Trevor, tell me what's the deal with this bike, man, because it's honestly beautiful. It's like nothing I've seen before. The bike has started as a 2006 Ducati 1000 Super Sport, which they only sent about 80 up to the US. The bike has been largely refabricated from scratch, and that's why it looks different from most anything you've seen. The fairing is a custom setup. We we integrated the, the headlights, which there's a lot of custom bracketry that was made to get that on there. So the, the front end of this bike, the, the Olden's forks, they come from a 2010 Ducati 1098S. We also use the brakes and then the front rotors are from a 748R. We have BST carbon fiber wheels on the bike. We've also got an NCR oil cooler. All of, uh, we got carbon fiber brake levers on the bike. The intakes are handmade titanium pieces. Yeah, they look beautiful. It's funny because this one's out and then on the other side it's more hidden, but it's cool because once you start checking out the bike, you know it's there. Yeah, that was kind of the, the only place it could be fitted. So the, the engine on this bike is from a 2012 Monster 1100 Evo. And then the engine was punched out to 1200 cc's and it has ported heads, um, NCR race cams. The, the exhaust on the bike was computer programs. We put all the engine parameters into a computer program and it gave us the optimal tubing diameter. And then it also gave us the optimal length of the tube tubes where we merged the two which ended up being 19 inches for the front cylinder and then 47 inches for the cylinder in the back that wraps around so pretty much this was computerized and then you brought it to life yeah you fabricated that yeah it was all to get the optimization out of the engine what you don't want is the two exhaust pulses meeting at the merger once because then that makes back pressure you want them pulsed they come right after each other carbon fiber gas tank is another handmade piece we made a master plug from scratch and then pulled a mold off of it. And from the mold, we made the carbon fiber tank. There's a lot of bracketry to, to hold the fairings. It's all made out of 4130 chromoly steel. We also made all the mounting for the speedometer, made all the mounting for the reservoirs to make them all flush and flat. No, it all looks amazing, man. It all looks great. Yeah, there was roughly 1,600 hours invested into the bike. 1,600? Yeah, every bit of it. I mean, it shows. It really does, it's beautiful. Now, this is from, what brand is this? Like, this is a, a special a, custom bracket, right? Yeah, it's Speedy Moto. Oh, okay. So we had to use uh, that triple clamp and the stem to adapt the 1098 front end onto the bike. Every electronic piece on the bike was relocated. We removed all the tabs. The coils got relocated, the battery, the ECU. There's not much that wasn't touched on this bike. The only thing that's left is the front half of the frame and the swing arm or and the rear brake. That's about the only things that are left from the original 2006 1000 Super Sport. So 2006 1000 Super Sport, that's what this bike began life as. Yeah. What a change. We adapted this Olin steering dampener onto the bike. I made the mount that goes up inside of here. Um, we ended up using Duca bike rear sets on it. We've also got an Olin's 
rear shock on the bike, chromoly, lightweight, quick change, um, gears on the bike. It's got a 520 sprocket. It's the same wheels that are on the front and the back, right? It's same brand, yeah. Yeah. The, the front wheel is made for a 1098. The rear wheel is made for a Paul Smart, and we had to make five spacers to get it to fit to this axle. And then we also had to machine down the hub, which is only a couple thousands of clearance there at the moment. We also did all the paint work in-house for the bike. Uh, we did the ceramic coating in-house as well. The engine made 105 wheel horsepower. It has pistol pistons. It has been punched out from 1100 to 1200 cc. It has ported heads, it has a balanced bottom end, and it has the NCR cams in it. And then it has a Microtech ECU, which is underneath the gas tank, which controls it. And it sounds super mean. It sounds really, really, really good. What, are these the lights back here? Yeah. Wow. Look at the lights. That's pretty cool. The placement of them, I mean, you can't have them over here. Can we start it up? Now for the most important question, what's it cost to build one of these things? We're offering a series of four of these bikes at $105,000 a piece. $105,000 a piece. This thing, I mean, you show up anywhere and no one's gonna have anything like this. Not even close. Not even close. Guys, if you wanna get more footage of this, subscribe to the channel, follow my boy Trevor, Scale Studio, I'll put the tag down below. Take care and stay tuned for, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff with the Model A, right? For sure. Woo! Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs>